Welcome everyone into my channel. Once again, my name is Jericho655 and I want to do a new tutorial for this new spotlight shop. So let's jump right in. So this is all for the new players and mid players. So we have a new features in Mario Kart Tour since a couple days where into the battle tour we can do the spotlight shop, which means every day you have a, a shop where you can buy some drivers, some carts, and some gliders but for mid uh, for new players and even like mid player this is can be overwhelming so here this is where we're going to discuss today and i'm going to give you some feedback so first of all um i'm pretty sure the, the best advice i can give to you is do not buy every single thing you see into the the shop that makes absolutely no sense okay so this is very important if you really want to have a good accounts like one of the first first tips I can give it to you right here is to if you want to have a drivers invest on drivers where they have giant banana coin box frame a coin box lucky seven or even boomerang and try to get a driver where you can cover a lot of tracks to help your account and if you choose to go with uh, one item into the spotlight make sure you want to spend some ticket on that driver it's not because you spend 150 rupees to get one driver you're gonna you get your account gonna do well absolutely not so for new players which i recommend is like i said look look this today i have pinja pinja is a good example because this one is giant banana which is a very good skills and for new players your focus would be to make your account around level four to have the special ability which in, into this one is giant a giant banana plus and Pinja have quite a decent of track already. So for a new players, having Pinja or Ping Shy Guy is a very good buy. One can be also a bad buy is if you really want a card like let's say let's say this one. You have this one and you want it, but it's 100 rupees. So, oh, it's 100 rupees. It may be like not. It's less ruby. But if you can see and you don't see what you buy. Well, this one don't have a lot of tracks and that's not a good buy. So for carding gliders, what you're really looking for, and this is very the best tips for new and advanced player is you need to check how much track you will cover with those because coverage is important in the game. And the more items you have with 25, 30 tracks the less you would need to cover in order to cover your account and then of course it would be to bring them to a few more levels so this is very the best i uh, the best way to buy it into the spotlight shop also for cards if you can if you if you want to want to see which one which which one is the better well obviously the one would have the better hitbox because hitbox and coin box are the best together and if the card is a bit bigger well you're gonna have more action because this game is all about action counts so having a bigger card rather than a small card is very good deal of course into the shop they have plenty of uh, every day your spotlight shop will be refreshed so you can always have um, I mean different type of item per day but the main focus is to do not buy everything. So far, I did not buy a single item into the spotlight shop. I'm still looking for one item in particular. It is the armor, uh, armor red rider, which for me, this, uh, this card have a decent, a lot of track already. I'm gonna have more than 20 track. And into my own coverage, it will cover me a lot of track if I bring it to high level. So this is why I said like buy something with uh, an, a lot of track and then invest into it because again if you spend rubies and don't use it well that's that's just not a good buy also the price for drivers well i think they're a little bit more too much expensive at least it make the game less easy in a way to get those but i think if you don't have any new drivers uh, no, yeah. If you if you want a new drivers, that's fine to buying it because you have to buying it. 
But if you're going for a level up, I think this is not the right place for buying a driver to level up. Maybe a karting gliders with 100 rubies, maybe that's okay deal. But if you think that, you pretty want much to use those order tickets in order to level them up to save some ruby. So here's that. So there's a couple of tips um, for that. Of course, um, for that's the same way for mid player as well because yeah, it, coverage is everything. You cannot go wrong with coverage. Um, hope those tips will help you out to uh, identify what you want into the spotlight shop. But like I said, be careful with what you buy. Do not buy everything if it's like if it's new. Uh, like this one, like right now, this one is a new gliders, 100 rubies. But this one, it, it you don't know the exact value you're gonna go for it. And to buying something new and you have a couple new tracks, it's not the greatest choice. So once again, be careful. Uh, have some good choice. And if you have, if you need any help, um, anybody into the community would be there for for you if you want to have some advice but at the end be careful with your rubies uh, if you want to save your rubies if you really like an items to complete your collection you can do it but the best way is to buy something and then level like a little bit for level four and then your account would be already into good words and although that make sure to uh, the items is at least a beautiful amount of 20 track or more so I hope this video will help you how to choose what the car the most would be or even gliders or um, with drivers what you can uh, to buy in the spotlight shop. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, like and comment. And on that, thank you so much for watching. Catch you next time. Bye.